Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who don't want you to run again? They want me to run. Two thirds say they Read don't. Read the polls. Read the polls, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A majority of Democrats say they don't want you to run again in no, 2024. 92% said if I did, they'd vote for me. All right, we used to have debates with me and, uh, for example, Jim Eastland, with whom I agreed on virtually nothing except we were both senators. But we'd debate like hell on the floor of the Senate and go and have lunch together. We are suffering from inflation imposed as a consequence of what's going on in Ukraine, but we have the lowest rate of almost every major nation. It doesn't have anything to do with uh, whether or not the uh, um, the Quds Force is uh, going to stop or is going to continue to be engaged in activities. We can act against them and still have a deal where they curtail their nuclear program. Mm -hmm. And so I still think it makes sense. We've laid out on the table. We've made the deal. We've offered it. And it's up to Iran. After our last hearing, President Trump tried to call a witness in our investigation, a witness you have not yet seen in these hearings. That person declined to answer or respond to President Trump's call and instead alerted their lawyer to the call. Their lawyer alerted us. And this committee has supplied that information to the Department of Justice. Let me say one more time, we will take any effort to influence witness testimony very seriously. When we look at guys where we're seeing the largest increases, it's broad based. Gasoline, shelter, food being the largest contributors, certainly a confirmation of what a lot of us consumers know is that inflation is rampant. It is pretty much everywhere these days. And this report suggesting that. Wow, 9.1 percent year over year, much hotter than expected, everybody. 1981, November 1981 is the last time that we have seen an inflationary number this high for CPI. Again, 9.1 percent. There you go, folks. That is the big story here. Uh, now, let's go to that uh, month over month. If you strip out food and energy, let me give you the annual year over year. That's higher than expected too. the core. Not that we care about that because it's all gas and food, but even the core number coming in hotter than expected at 5.9 percent. We were only looking for 5.7 percent uh, on the core. Again, strong, strong numbers. Gasoline, a jump of 11.2 percent. New vehicles, a jump of 0.7 percent. Uh, energy, seven and a half percent jump. Uh, all, again, these are very, very hot numbers. Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who don't want you to run again. They want me to run. Two thirds say they Read don't. Read the polls. Read the polls, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A majority of Democrats say they don't want you to run again in no. 2024. 92% said if I did, they'd vote for me. What was the president's response to a new poll from the New York Times today showing that 64% of Democrats say that they would prefer a different candidate in 2024? And um, I would also say from that very same poll, um, there were 92% of uh, Democrats who uh, support this president as well. Look, you know, not to be, not get into uh, you know, politics from here or get into a, any political analysis. Um, you know, this is not something, uh, you know, there's going to be many polls. They're going to go up or they're going to go down. Uh, this is not the thing that we are solely focused on. Uh, I just wanted to follow up on, on Caitlin's question earlier. You, you mentioned some of the accomplishments of the administration, but that, that same poll that came out uh, said that 63 percent of Democrats uh, believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. How, how do you explain that? Well, we understand what the American people are feeling. We understand that. We understand that um, inflation uh, is hurting families uh, when they are around the kitchen table, uh, when they're trying to figure out, um, you know, how, how they're going to deal with uh, gas prices at the pump, how they're going to deal with food prices as well. So we understand that families are hurting right now. That is why um, the, the president has been laser focused on uh, on making sure that we uh, truly deal with inflation. Um, 
Uh, we got here with the uh, with the increase of, of gas prices and food prices because of Mr. Putin's war has cost has cost uh, prices to go up. And so, look, the president's going to be focused. We have a strong economy. Um, we are going to, uh, you know, as we're talking about inflation, our plan right now is uh, to do that transition uh, from that uh, the growth that we've seen in the economy to a more stable and steady growth. We're not going to pay attention to to polls. It's not.